pulled away. That's more like it. Loose ball and the first boundary of the day. It's in the air. It's safe. More than safe. It's gone for four. And there's another one. Pulled away nicely, and it's a long chase towards backwards goal for Angara, but he can't get there. And here we go. And cop that. That is six. That is brilliant. And that is classic Jay's rear. One bounce to the man who misfielded and fumbled it. Nicely played. It's gone past the man at point who went to his right initially. Oh. Big shout and gone. Just for a minute I thought that might be too high. The last ball of uh, the 15th over. Thomas Adoyo traps Janissaria in front. LBW. By Peter Willie. Sticks a finger up pretty quickly indeed, but Jay Sarita parts with 39 of 49 deliveries and Sri Lanka lose their first wicket with 72 on the board. Gone. Just an inside edge onto the stumps. But Thomas Adoyo strikes twice in the space of just three balls to get rid of both Sri Lankan openers. Well, Mahanama loves getting runs in that third man region. Normally it doesn't worry him how close the ball is, but this one I think just a little bit too close. And just chopped it on. So disappointment for him. Elation for Kenya. Two quick wickets. That really is a good inroad in this batting lineup. So he goes for 21. And Sri Lanka 74 for two. Aravinda De Silva, the new batsman for Sri Lanka, coming in at number four. Good shot. It's beaten uh, the infield and the man out on the cover boundary. Short and wide, and that's got the place to ball for Ar to Aravinda de Silva. And a wicket. So Martin Suji at square leg has done very well. So De Silva can't do any more damage today. And what a breakthrough for Kenya. A bowling change, the boundary, and then a wicket. Great shot. Two men are close together at the backward point. They're only about two or three metres apart. And the ball has raced off the bat of Ranatunga. Now, that's a wonderful stroke. It's exactly what we were talking about. Plays nice and straight. Fairly quick outfield here, and that's going to run away for four. Very, very well timed. Hit that beautifully through extra cover for four. Slightly over pitched. Foot to the pitch of the ball and wonderful timing. That also brings up the 150. Nice, oh, four more. There's nobody out on the uh, cover boundary. That's a very good blow from Arjuna Ranatunga. Going to run away for another boundary, so there's another boundary off the first ball of the over. Ranatunga brings up his 50. Yet another half century for the Sri Lankan captain. Chance again for a run out, and that's got him. So Ranatunga came down the pitch. Hit it to point, 
and with one stump to aim at, it was knocked out of the ground. So a very, very important wicket. The batsmen didn't look under threat for really any stage of their partnership until the run out. Upul Chandana has come into bat, changing the batting order. And first ball. So he can go and help Arjana Ramtunga take his pads off. That's his first wicket in one day international cricket. Upul Chandana giving uh, Kennedy Otieno a bit of uh, catching practice. Good catch. Diving away to his right. Chandana promoted in the order last one ball. 191 for five. And half a chance. Back down the ground and that brings up the 50 for Adipatu. And given out. Everybody's waiting for the wide, apart from the bowler and the wicketkeeper. So way down leg side. And just the worst way to get out, apart from a run out. Gone. Soft dismissal. Tried to hold it back, I think, at the last minute, did Kalu, but uh, not successful. And that's an important wicket for Kenya. He's the man they had to get. That's a big hit. And just bounces over the rope, I think. Fine again. And another four runs. That time was very well played. It's well struck. And that's four runs. Well, he's hit that a long way. That is a huge hit. The longest boundary for six. No ball called. And he's put that away for four. And with the no ball, five. Could be out. It is. Sweep on the offside. Didn't have to move. And that's the end of a very, very fine knock from Jay Wadina. Caught by Sean, the cover fence. And Martin Suji picks up another wicket. Big shout. And gone. Second ball. Peter Willey. Otieno has gone. LBW. And that late swing has defeated Kenya's opening batsman, then none for one. Good stroke. Put, away, put it away through point. And that'll run away for four. The outfield's still very quick despite the rain. Oh, bowled him. What a great ball that was. Enough zip and movement to get through that uh, backward defence of Tudor Sama. Comprehensively bowled by a fine delivery from Chimindavas. That's a fine stroke in front of square. Not a mid wicket, just a man uh, at square leg and four runs. That's another very good stroke. Straight through the line of the ball, in the air for a while, but it races away for four. That's a good shout, and it's gone. A little bit of a lazy shot there from Steve Ticklow. As Dav said, that's the danger man. And he now departs, and Kenya lose their third wicket inside 12 overs. What a good catch. I didn't think, just for a second, that uh, he was going to be tall enough, Murali, to uh, get hold of that. But he has. That's a top piece of fielding. That's a good stroke. Waited for it and hit it between mid-off and extra cover. Close, it's out. Closer than close. 
just hit him uh, straight in front really and the Kenyan captain has gone beautiful stroke Vada up on his toes and uh, crash up away through uh, square cover for four great way to get off the mark full toss and that's been put away very smartly indeed for four and wide and short and four premeditated sweep and very successful 22 Adumbe short again and between the two backward point fieldsman they may go all the way to the fence again it has consecutive boundaries Way. 100 up for Kenya, the loss of five wickets. Pretty easy going in the last six or seven overs or so. Oh, what the and a shout. It may have gone for four leg buys. It has. Four leg buys to end the over. 31 overs gone. It's 111 for five. Well, the crowd are sticking it out. Umpires are having a chat, another chat. The fielding side wants to stay out. Then, uh, fair enough. Jai Sarir again. That's 50 for Maurice Adumbe. Well played, 50 from 64 balls. He's delighted. Good shot. Brings up the 100 partnership. It won't go for four. But they'll come back for three. And that brings up Vardas 50. So these two batsmen for Kenya have done a pretty good job. There certainly hasn't been uh, too much of an acceleration out there, but uh, it's a moment he'll remember for a long time. in the record books from Kenya so that is extremely impressive Lakeside full toss and that's put away back with a square for four gone I think that was off the pad and onto leg stump so it was the quicker delivery just fired down and that's the end of a very good innings a patient innings it was but, uh, that's a day that he'll also remember he played pretty well in the end also of a very good partnership Two overs to bat for Thomas Sadoyo. Not sure whether he would have enjoyed coming out there just for those 12 balls. <laughs> but um, nevertheless, he'd be giving, wanting to get the strike to Al Peshmada. Well, he's hit that one pretty well. And not quite for six. Just bounced inside the ropes. Don't think we're going to see too many defensive shots from him. And that's a boundary. Off the first ball, the last over. Down the track, and he smacked that one over the top of Aridin into Silva. And that's another boundary. So two fours off the first two balls. Last ball. Full in the block hole. And just a single to finish. And there's another unnecessary pitch invasion here, which uh, is just ridiculous. That's something that has to be addressed, there's no doubt about that. Look at that, that really is uh, very ordinary to see. So that's the end of the match here at Southampton and also the end of the World Cup for Kenya and Sri Lanka. And it's been a very worthwhile exercise for Kenya in particular.